To get all of the parts to this stage, I have already solvent bonded several of them together. The front frame has two dial spacers bonded to the front face and the dial bonded to that. The rear frame has three wall spacers bonded to the back and the pendulum rod has been bonded to the pendulum head. The front and the rear frames have the ball bearings pressed into them. These should be a tight enough fit that they don't fall out during assembly. The gears have all been press fitted to their shafts and their positions checked against the dimensions on the supplied drawings. The escapement should be bolted together as shown with the tops of the pallets level with the tops of the frame. This should give a regular beat to the clock. If it's not regular, adjust by loosening a pallet and moving it slightly up or down until a regular beat is achieved. The escapement is the first part to be fitted to the back frame by sliding the shaft through the bearing. The escape wheel is pushed in next, followed by the red drive gear. Make sure to fit the green gear behind with the smaller gear touching the red drive gear and finally the green spacer at the back. Now fit the blue gear, the 60 tooth gear fitting between the red and the green gears. Next is the tricky part to fit the front frame ensuring all the gear shafts engaging the bearings. Now secure the frame in place with the two screws. We can now progressively fit the hour gears starting with the small green gear onto the main shaft then the yellow combined gear onto the short shaft followed by the larger green gear again back on the main shaft and finally the hands can be fitted. The pendulum rod and head were previously bonded together. Now the pendulum bob needs 30 grams of weight added to it after which it can be secured to the pendulum rod using a nut and bolt. The pendulum is fitted onto the shaft protruding through the back of the frame and the two short shafts on the back of the escapement pressed into the holes on the pendulum head. This needs to be a fairly tight fit but one that can be taken apart if necessary. Attach the clock to the wall with three screws, making sure the frames are vertical. Attach the weights by wrapping the cord around the drum one and a half times and fix the main weight to the right hand side and the counterweight to the left. If necessary, adjust the pallets to get the clock beating evenly. Adjust the pendulum bob downwards to slow it down and move it upwards to speed it up. <laughs> 